Hello and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. Where today, uh, we might find grimoires, but we've we've got exploring to do. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. And I forgot again to hire new pawns between streams. Let's see here. Kira is a little low level. But here's what I need. I need a mage. Someone who can heal. And I'd also like to see Ice Boon. Yeah, Calipor, that, that did happen. Uh, yeah, it, it's a thing. So, Kopi here could work. Not that one. Yeah, let's go with. Kobe. I happen to understand, Elvish Master. I expect you'll find my talents useful should we encounter another speaker. That does sound useful if we encounter a. Are you fit to travel? Speaker of Elvish. Then let's not dawdle. I didn't check what other skills you had, but I hope they're good. And now. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share. Oh, is it about the? It said there is an illness. Yeah, it sure is about rift. that that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control and, in time, will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. You don't have it, do you? We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. They... Basically, every time we go to a riftstone in a town and hire a new pawn... One of them will say that. They clearly want players to be aware of it. Oh. Forager marks materials on the map much farther afield than I had expected. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of dark zones on the map, and I would like to make them less dark. And that's our goal for today, is... Fewer dark zones, and also fighting basically anything that we come across, such that I can level up my fighter vocation. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. Unless it's a Drake, we're not going to fight a Drake as a fighter. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. I am just, I'm not equipped in terms of either skill or, wow, just free putrid gold teeth? Nice. Yeah, in, in terms of either skill or equipment, I am just not prepared to handle a drake Where's as fighter. Wise, but we oh. ought not let it halt us in our course. Apparently these rocky saurians are secretly bone wheel skeletons. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon.
compares to the thrill of victory, one cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. I say we give it a push and see what happens. You know what? Let's give it a push and see what happens. Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome... Who are you? Ladder. Where did you even come from? You know, whenever I try and push a boulder, my pawns never try and push it with me. Oh, they were talking about this boulder. I see. So, how about combining our might, huh? Yeah, they, they just... They like to tell me that with our combined might we can push a boulder, but then they never assist me. Oh, now the boulder's just rolling on their own. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps no sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early gripping gets the worm. I grant you Darn bone wheel fans. saurians. When a lightning attack is unleashed, the magical energy cannot be contained. Bolts of lightning will branch off and jump to targets in the vicinity. Dealing additional damage. Moreover, if a drenched target is struck by lightning attack, the resulting bolts will be able to reach a wider range. Okay, why are you telling me this now? Bone wheel saurians are apparently made of sturdy stuff. Did, did my pawn have to throw the saurian away? Right as I was getting into my riotous fury. And this one died right as I was getting into it. I'll go and open the chest. Okay, fine. Was about to open it myself, but sure. This task. Okay, let's stop Consider having them tell me about a task that matters. I am not actually prioritizing right now. Cave. That's a cavern entrance, I spy. Tis. Shall we make our way over to it? That's exactly what we're doing. Um... Well, it's a cavern entrance. But it doesn't go very deep. Something tells me at some point I just had a thought. this Both will get cleared I up. Am to recall the events of the coronation, they are fresh in my mind still. We must needs uncover this secret power that allows for the command of pawns. Here's another cavern entrance. had to confirm there was land to jump to. And who left 
this aged beast steak up here. All this climbing reminds me of a certain area in the forest and hills. Or the verdant hills, as it were. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? It is an item of exceptional rarity. I cannot wait to tell my own master of its existence. Yes, tell your master that you can get gold ore here. I was about to say, music says there's a Saurian. Hey, we like vocation ranks in this household. Always be so in step, eh? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. So apparently, the uh, mage we've hired is just all about giving different boons. Because we've had fire, ice, and lightning. I wonder what they've got besides the three boons. feels like he's just giving us uh, boons at random instead of giving us what's actually good against the enemies. Which is a shame because I'd rather have what's good against the enemies. And these being Saurians, I would guess it's still ice. Uh, Calipor, that blizzard spell is a sorcerer spell that Garnet has. Music says we're still in combat. Why does music say we're still in combat? I guess the uh, Saurian that's still active is closer to the entrance. Also, hey, Seeker's token. You know what? There's a way to find out what that pawn has. Ah, High Empyrean. So they clearly want their pawn to be able to handle all of the different elements of offense, but... Three of them are not for the pawn themselves. I'm not a huge fan of that. I'd be a bigger fan of it if said pawn was actually 
using them strategically instead of at apparently random. Ah! You were hiding on the wall, were you? So this tunnel existed for a lot of ore and a Seeker's token. Ooh, fancy chest. Right, there was also a fancy chest in it. I don't even remember what I got out of it. Take that. We might find a use for it. It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? I would say. I was just checking something on a uh, communications program. It wasn't urgent. And thus, I can keep playing. I don't expect there to be anything urgent, it's just... There's one particular channel that is for work things, and in this case it's just my co-workers are having conversations about stuff. of an adventure if all we do is make camp let us return once we've grown tired from our labors single pawn one huh is it going to be a useful single pawn i've an act for combining materials that i hope you'll find useful i'll craft what i can using what's in my pack yeah no thanks a fine place to harvest some ingredients we could pick some now and use them when the need arises Now here's all of oh. interest. A ballista. This could grant us an edge in battle. Well, you know what? Maybe it is worth trying to fight a drake. Careful, master. We know not what to expect from this enemy. Well, there goes the ballista and most of my health just from it landing. But at least this one's heart is exposed. I don't think Roaring Flame is the right option here. Not the time. Ow, ow. You know what? This is what panaceas are for. Can can I stand back up, game? 
Wow. Love how we get absolutely locked into the oh no, I'm falling down animation. Um. Well, at least the terrain protected me from the fire breath. Can I get back up there, please? Thank you. Hey there, Drake. Great. You are not that pawn's master. Uh, you, you appear to have killed the pawn you were attempting to dominate. I can't help but feel like that's counterproductive. And that just straight up killed me. It didn't even didn't even leave me some health to spare or some time to heal. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I can handle this. So here's an idea: we flee. The ballista gave me hope early on. Oh, oh. Few materials Seems the Drake killed a Cyclops. It makes all our efforts worthwhile. We shall have to think long and hard about what to do with it. Drake Grit, I am happy to hear that you are enjoying Dragon's Dogma 1. It is a fantastic game. I can't count the number of meats and fish that have gone to rot in my pack. you think the smell would remind me. Ah, oh, yes. That sounds familiar. And what, pray tell, is this structure? It's got Skeleton! Is barred. We cannot break it from this side. So That's why goes. I'm not trying. Blue Lantern. This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loosed from it would carry tremendous lethal force. It is not how we use this, but when that counts. I imagine it would be most beneficial in combat. Would you say it could slay a drake, maybe? Could. What? What made it sound? Skeleton. Let my magic 
grant you an elemental boon. Yeah, um... That was superb, Arisen! For people who have or have not played Dragon's Dogma 1, I think the best way to describe Dragon's Dogma 2 is it feels like the game that Capcom would have made Oof. back in 2013 if they had the time and technology to do so. Which is to say, it's got a lot of design ideas from back then. But also, it's still a solid game and it feels like, you know, this is what they were going for back then. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will Though there is... The Though there is a giant ballista... ...that we could theoretically use to attempt to, uh, fire upon the drake. It's a little too dark to see the drake right now. And it looks like our nearest campsite isn't exactly close. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you arisen? No, sir, we do not let skeleton casters free cast in this household. And now we can bash that open. And what's in might here? Anywhere, wear every shadow, and mind the ceiling. Be sure to keep your wits about you. Hey, Seth. Imagine this is not openable. Yeah. Fancy chest. A makeshift vault key. That sounds handy. Nation's death knell. Hang on a sec, my... My phone was just ringing, and it looks likely to have been spam, because of course, why would I ever get a real phone call? Wonder if Nation's Death Knell is one of them grimoires I was asked to find. Probably not, it sounds more like a history. Unless it's a spell that is designed to slay a nation. Busted ballista up here. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Oh, hello. Stairs that lead potentially to some important part of this keep. They lead to a sleepy Cyclops. Cyclops armor is hard as rock. Our weapons shan't pierce it. So we'll have to remove it or adjust our aim. I can't things back. Yeah, 
Ow. I'll be fine. doing much to this Cyclops myself. Thankfully, we've got some good thunder going on. Um, not the most useful place for it to have fallen. with a heavy stab to the eye. Oh, we got a... fancy hat that... is actually based on a Cyclops. Shame I can't equip it as this vocation. Because dang, that would have actually been a huge upgrade. Discoveries await us above. I don't see any new discoveries above. I think this was just for uh, getting an advantageous position against the Cyclops. Come to think of it, some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Hey, Black Matter, isn't that... It's a hammer, right? Also, it's really heavy. Wait, when did I get bolts from the blue? That's neat. Permanently lightning enchanted daggers. Not bad. I know what I'm using when I become a thief. And, uh, Karin, you can hold that for now. A key that opens Vermin's Vault, specifically. Well, Vermin is the country, not... Vernworth is the city. Ooh, we found an elite camping kit. Weighs even less. Each to their own. Mayhap this ladder leads to new discoveries. Look, a new discovery! Ooh. More new discoveries than I expected. My word. This ox cart has been destroyed. The work of goblins, mayhap. We need not shrink from danger. We've the strength to prevail over anything. There we go. And what manner of rift stone is this?
Perseverance. Oh, it's just pawns with distinctive scars, huh? I'm sorry, but I don't feel like I will ever be in the market for pawns based specifically on their scars. Ooh, another ladder! Ooh, another ladder! Our pawns are really slacking on pointing out these ladders. Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their uses. And there's a Seeker's token down there. It looks like to get it, we require strategic jumping. Oh, hey, a ladder. Oh, oh. I'd not have thought we'd find one here. A splendid discovery. Eh. Huh? I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Okay. Actually, wouldn't have been too terrible a fall. I would very much like for the sun this to rise again. This is a again. powerful weapon. A single bolt loosed from it would carry tremendous lethal force. It is not how we use this, but when that counts. I imagine it would be most beneficial in combat. Truly genius is these pawns. This weapon would be most useful in combat. Hmm, yes. Insight for the ages. Traits mesh well together. Each of us is suited to a different task. Capable comrades are a boon indeed. It is as you say. I feel like I should be able to grab that. Not like that, though. I think a running jump might be able to get us to that one. Provided I can do a running jump without slipping down these stupid rocks. Rock's too slippery. Like my character should have at least made an attempt to grab that ledge this time. Oh, hello. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. And got a worm's life crystal you, out of this. I find a good use. So this is just a bonus worm's life crystal for anyone who goes to the effort to get in there. A fun little reward. I swear, feels like that should also be a doable jump. Because it is! So your character auto-jumps if you dash towards a ledge, but they don't jump as high as they would. 
if you actually press the jump button. Looks like there was no reason to jump up there anyway, because we can get in here from down here, and there's not even anything to find. If it was light out, then I'd at least have more information to go by before making silly jumps. Oh, this is the ancient battleground, is it? I believe we were told to check a cenotaph in an ancient battleground. And if that is indeed where we are... Wait, we've seen the World's End Cavern, but not gone into it. I need to fix that. No, but it seems I've come this too far down and enough to climb? need to oh, uh, excellent find. go back inside to get to the Cyclops place. And then from there we can return to the World's End Cavern. manner of traps have been set to ensnare us, I wonder. Naught can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. Yeah, and by the look of things, no traps have been set at all. Ah! I take it this is the World's End Cavern. An ominous name, to be sure. Calfor, I'm not surprised I missed a Seeker's Token. Oh. Bandits! Hey! The mark of a champion to prevent you. Let my magic imbue your weapon. They stole a camping kit. Thankfully it was my mundane one and not my fancy ones. But like Do I get it back? That was impeccably timed, Arisen. Also they had a better camping kit just here. Okay, yeah, we got it back. Also, interesting. I think this is the first time I've seen a campsite inside a cave. I gotta say, this elite camping kit seems less elite than the grass patterned one. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. Okay, 
Since we anyway before we do is rested till dawn to make camp only when the need arises. I know there's still more of this cave to check out, but I want to see whether that Drake is still around. And also whether I can wreck it with the ballista. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Unfortunately, I can't see down to where the Drake was without jumping down a ways. Okay, yep. Drake's still here. And now for the question. Can we... point this at it... and accomplish something? One can see far to the distance from here. It would be a good place to take stock of our surroundings. See that you say? Excellent. It's in our sights. Like, how cool would it be if this just killed the drake or at least pinned the me. wing to its chest? Though maybe I should go for its face. Well, it knocked him down, but did not kill. Okay, so Stay the with me, Arisen. Wait a moment. The Drake has defenses against this ballista. Uh, let's flee. What's your health like, Mr. Drake? Oh, that actually was significant. Um... Didn't realize the Drake could land in there. Yes, please. Cold enchantment. Good. Do I have anything other than Panacea to cure the numbing that I've got? Is this the unconscious debilitation? It is. Um... Mr. Drake, can you please get out of the air? Out of the air. He's also killed two pawns. And also almost me. Hey, I got the achievement for rescuing two pawns at once. Why is your heart hiding, Drake? Hey, the heart's not hiding anymore.
Art's not hiding, but I'm not doing much to it. Oh, great, I'm unconscious again. Fantasy, I choose you. Go, Kopi. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Okay, looks like maybe three more hits of this heart, and we've got it done. There we go. Drake down. All right. Get on up. I said get on up. It's your magics of the wakes. Dang, 15 it's worms life crystals. A fine prize. We must think very carefully before using it. So this ballista gave its life, but it also took away, like, four health bars from the drake. Thank you for your service, giant ballista. It is overly narrow here and ill-suited to combat. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peeled, ears pricked. Yeah, if it wasn't for the giant ballista having taken away so many the of the Drake's health bars, lost. I would not have attempted that. But when when it's there with less than two health bars left, I mean, you gotta try, right? Hang on a sec. Feels like we should be able to explore in there and maybe find something, but alas. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Ah, there is indeed a Seeker's token here. Also, I'd like to report I have another sound to add to the satisfying sounds in video games list. I like the sound of turning the lantern off. It's just, it's nice. It hits my ears in a way that they like. Yes, to arms against bat. I will never know why bats in Dragon's Dogma games are so hostile. Okay, so there's a big pit. Here's an alternate path blocked up by stone. Thank <laughs> you. 
Undead. I grant you roaring flame. Well, Garnet made quick work of that. And that. Good job, Garnet. You're getting really good at this. Seeker's token. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. There was indeed ought to be found here. Yep. Hey, Garnet, you want to maybe cast a spell? Maybe do it before I get possessed next time. And now it isn't. You truly are formidable, Arisen. nice that we can do non-zero damage, even if it is just light, to specters and phantasms and the like, with purely physical attacks. Wait, there's... That doesn't look like a ring. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Did, did that thing turn my lantern off, or did I run out of fuel? I didn't run out of fuel, so it just turned my lantern off. Yeah, that... That box the ring was in looked like this. So what's the Ring of Grit? Ah, reduces stamina expended when blocking. Is every chest here possessed? I mean, I'll take these over man-eaters. They go down a lot faster. But, like, is every chest here possessed? White Cobble, that's new. Finding a new type of material is never a bad thing. Anyway, I, I was either saying earlier or thinking that if... This is a labyrinth, which it's at least got some twists and turns. And it only has but one entrance and one exit. You will always solve it by just sticking to one wall. That's a golem. That's a golem. That's a golem. 
That's a golem, and that's a golem! How many of these golems will wake? That one. The golem rises to meet us! Point of view from up here! How high are you, scale? Well, sir. It was most effective. Now, are golems still totally immune to magical damage? It seems they are still immune to magical damage. Here, strike with lightning on your side. Okay, golems do damage. Good to know. First and foremost, we want to knock it off balance. It'll prove a much easier target when lying prone. This battle will demand all our strength. How? One punch and I'm at half health. I'd love to pick Kira up, but I don't think it's wise while the golem's still enraged. And yet it worked. It's done. Golem down. My first golem kill. Which means our first dappled ores. And magic metals, I guess. So, this thing's body's not gonna turn to sand and crumble away. It's gonna make it a little annoying to collect golem loot in the future. Is that the only one that's going to stand back up? Not that I'm terribly put out by this, mind you. Ode to the Sphinx. O Sphinx, thou askest, what hath four legs in the morn, two at noon and three a night? From the answer is born the means to claim a long-sought boon. O Sphinx, what hath four legs in the morn, two at noon and three a night? With treasure thou wouldst reward the one who leaveth it unmarked by sword. O Sphinx, four legs in the morn, two at noon, three a night. In the shrine thou awaitest a challenger of wit to delight. So wait. You want me to leave the answer? Unmarked by a sword? D does that mean... Or wait. Is the it unmarked by sword the Sphinx itself, or? or? No. I know the answer is man. But, like... Eh. And, Seth, as far as whether the giant ballista can be rebuilt over time, I would guess yes. But I can't say for certain. I've never had one destroyed. How do I sit down? I want to sit down. Uh, 
I can't get in there, apparently. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. Then maybe use your lantern. Shrine Corridor. Will it be the Sphinx's Shrine? Or no, this corridor leads up to the shrine we were just at, so I guess technically yes. And now we are at the Mountain Shrine. So maybe this was the shrine. Got some stairs. Okay, so this is, in fact, the shrine. That looks like an arisen scar. And yet, tis not openable. Another oh. dogged adventurer come to take my life. No. Many have tried, and as you can plainly see, all have failed. I would abandon any such fool ideas if I were you. After all, that which is won by brute force is apt to be lost to the same. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of wits instead. Perhaps. I set before you a simple task. Solve my riddles to satisfaction. Should your answers please me, I will bestow upon you the contents of yon chests. I trust I have your attention? You do. If so, take your place and we shall begin. The Sphinx's riddles are designed to baffle and confuse. I fear we pawns can be of little aid here, master. Your resolve is commendable. The fool beholds a sage in the mirror. The sage a fool. Which is it you see, I wonder? Let's hear the riddle of eyes. Our eyes are our allies. Yet oft do they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do lead astray. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door and retrieve that which is of greatest value. Okay. Oh, good. You return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Uh, you were looking straight at me the entire time. So retrieve that which is of greatest value, you say. Well, what's this? A ceiling file. Whatever powers this vessel holds are clearly far from common, but it does seem intended to carry something. It could prove quite you. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. So what are goblins doing in here? The Sphinx isn't going to say what's most valuable is life, is it? Whoa there. I hear something large. Possibly an ogre. Another pit? We would do well to keep our distance. Surely you will be able to do that. Quite right. Not the lies, they say. I should check out what that ceiling file I got was. Can swallow people up, allowing them to be carried about with ease. Interesting.
Yeah, that's an ogre down there. Um, the ogre's health bar is here. Kira, are you trying to challenge the ogre right now? We're we're not about that. Maybe the ogre is the most valuable thing. It's not necessarily easy to counter. Avoid flame at any cost. You have been doused in oil. Ah. Now there's a blow I'd have a spell if I may. It's one of the targets marked by my own master. Care to assist? I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. Another fancy chest over there. You know, there's a splode barrel here. Two of them, even. And this section of wall seems damaged. Okay. A rotten apple. Is that the most valuable thing? So the ogre is like directly beneath us. And oh! <laughs> he can get up. But apparently, if we just stick around here. Given enough time, Garnet will use her spells to we must do defeat it. Where is she? Is she down below? Or is she up above? She's up above. Hey, Garnet, come here. Now that she's here, she should be able to cast at it with impunity. Though this is hardly the most sporting way to fight an ogre. I grant you lightning's fangs. Let's see, can we pick up an ogre? No. Oh, do we... I guess it's only for people. Is the answer going to be my pawn? I was on the ogre's head. How did you move me to his buttock? Just because he jumped on a wall. Stabbing the head 
seems to be our most effective course of action. Um, I've turned into a banana. Hey, uh, Garnet, if you could maybe hit him with some lightning before he slams me against all of you. I have been used as a weapon. I didn't want to be on the hand. Successful hunt. Splendid. Is the book the most valuable thing? Hey there, Apocalypse When. And Drake Great Phase 2 actually does still sound like Jen's theme, just only for specific monsters. It, it's it's different for different enemies now. Imagine my master would faint were I to return beyond the rift with it. Apocalypse win. There was no Dundorma Saturday because the last one was the last one, at least until I uh, am done with this game. That was that was the plan. We might do one more Master, on, like, the last day no possible. Oh, hello. Yeah, on the last Saturday possible, we might do another one. But for now, Dundorma Saturdays are done. Okay, so we opened this and got a rotten scrag of beast. Is that the most valuable thing? If it is, our pawn just turned it into lantern oil, so... Is lantern oil the most valuable thing? Because it lets us see in the dark. like a long fall but perhaps we had best return once we have had a chance to rest it's to somewhere we've already been and I couldn't even use my shield to block it fear we lack the vim to forge on we are already here let us delve as far as we are able
are those two so keen on? Is there something in this corner? I don't know how to use the ceiling file, apparently. I think I fully explored this place. So of the things I found, I mean... The ceiling file... calls itself remarkable and it's certainly more valuable than a rotten apple and she was talking about how her eyes could deceive and stuff and it was somewhere where we could not so easily see so maybe maybe the ceiling file Seems we were in there for quite some time. Come to test your wits. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door and retrieve that which is of greatest value. Okay, so my options are rotten apple or ceiling file. I think I choose ceiling file. So. This is your choice. The greatest worth your eyes described. I mean, it's worth more than a rotten apple. This is unnerving, the animation work they've done on her. That... Indeed. This is what I sought. Your eyes see true. Oh, good. No greater worth can there be than that found in simplicity. As promised, I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest and take this file too. Its purpose I shan't divulge. How you use it is up to you. Props to the animation team for Not making bad. that animation so unnerving. So, what's in the chest? A wake stone. Not bad. Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is today. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. So... Is that what the ceiling file is for? Does that mean I'm supposed to grab the uh, person with whom I have the highest affinity? Because I've maxed it out with someone, and I think it's that uh, watch captain's wife. Come to test your wits. The parent knows the child. Yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent. 
Such is the parent's due. I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. Hmm. Parent knows the child, but the child doesn't know the parent. That Come to nothing test comes to mind immediately. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. So grant to me what you most prize, and thence elude your ponderous demise. So, is she saying, give her the heaviest thing we have? I think that would be our mundane camping kit. Or black matter here. I think black matter may be the answer to this riddle. I don't have anything else heavier. possession a most revealing choice do you consent to give it to me knowing that it may never be returned yeah sure well well very good that's the spirit such generosity deserves a reward, methinks. Why don't you take a peek in your chest? All right. So I guess the answer was, in fact, heaviest thing you own. Hey, look. I got it back. Kind of wish I got more than just it, but I guess we also got a quest complete. Come to test your wits. It's ever the first we keep fond in our breast, and ever the first that eclipses the rest. You know of the Seeker's tokens, I trust. Those keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. I do. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. Seven days, shall we say, ere you return? May your journey be a pleasant one. Ooh. Finding where I found my first Seeker's token. If it wasn't for the, uh... It is good to be reunited. The seven days thing. It would be basically just the easiest thing in the world for me, because I've got a video record. Now we should be able to transport ourselves here at any time, so long as we've a furry stone with us. Yeah, putting my port crystal there so that I can quickly return. 
is coming to assail us. Mayhap we've scared them all off? A brief respite has naught to decry. So, let's go ahead and use up one of our seven days. So we get some rest. I'm not sure I could face a trek with my belly so full. Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover ere we continue on our journey. Excuse you. So as far as where I found my first Seeker's token, I would imagine it to be, uh, where did we, where did we first show up? Here, I think, is where we initially landed. Maybe? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe it was here. Either way, it was on the way to the Border Watch Outpost from where we first spawned into the game. I don't have a fairy stone, do I? No, I certainly do not. That's gonna make this trek actually a trek. Just currently uh, scrubbing through my first stream of this game, seeing if I opened the map at any point. But apparently, at least not early on. Oh, I do in fact have two black matter now. Neat. So I guess the real key is uh, when you go to do the Sphinx riddle about the heavy thing, make sure your heaviest thing is something that you want to of. Well, we do have... It isn't much of an adventure if all we did... Air master! Saurians! Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements! We do have more exploring to do around here, but I am now on a timer to get very far from here. Is there a land path this way? This might 
lead to the other side of this cave. That would certainly save time versus going all the way around. Oh, you could give her a port crystal and get an extra one? I should have done that. It's too late now, though. I thought she was asking for the heaviest thing you have because she was talking about how, you know, uh, lightening your pack speeds your stride or whatever. So my instant thought was, oh yeah, give heavy thing Dare I say it? to lighten your pack the most. Well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Ooh, Venom Harpy. I really wish I could swap which button was for sword things and which button... Like, R1 and L1. I want to swap the one that is used for sword things and the one that is used for shooting things. I want L1 to be my block button. And R1 to be my do sword things button. Especially considering my sword's in my right hand and my shield's in my left. Seth, while I can customize the button mapping, uh, I'm not on a PS5, so doing it isn't quite as simple. These faces have grown mightily familiar. As a result, we move as one. Look there. Methinks I spy ought of use. I'm glad that this game lets fighters block the ground when they're falling. Where am I? Oh, I'm in here. So there are roads up here, but it looks like they don't connect down here. We'd have to go up here and cross the bridge to get to the roads up here. Which means going through the Misty Marshes. Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their uses. Yes, materials do have their uses. That's how they work. Travels beyond the rift. I learned of a cave. Skeleton. You have yet to explore. Shall I take you there? You want to remove that slime? As interested as I am in exploring a cave I've never explored near here, now is not the time. We are on a timer. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. Uh oh. Me thinks the fiend felt that. Perhaps a few more for good measure.
Bernard, I think this spell was a bit much to just get rid of a Skeleton's skull. Ooh, beetle. Execution. Let us try for the same results with our next attack. Is this the path out or the path to the cave? Or both? Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our place. Try not to get hit, lest all that rim go to waste. One of us has been poisoned! Let my magics grant you an elemental rune. Is that the Dolahan back? I mean, I gotta at least check it out, right? Sure, we're on a timer, but it doesn't take too many days to get back to starter land. It still bothers me that zombies don't take full damage until they're standing all the way up. I do believe that's the Dullahan back. Or no, that's not the Dullahan, that's a that's a white. Well, it sounds like he's having a good time. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. White down. And I'm guessing there's no easy way off this island other than back the way we came. Yeah, looks like it. It's actually kind of amusing how constant his laughter was in that. This ladder looks sturdy Dude was climb. clearly having Perhaps a good time. New discoveries await us above. Be neat if we could dispel the fog here. You're all out of love. Hey, sunlight. saying let them run is when one of them is currently mauling me. Or how appropriate it is. This is rather. generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Okay, so we want to keep on going this away, right? And yeah, not really, it doesn't change much. So cross the bridge, then go and, t and keep as left as we can without going either at an acute angle or whatever. Yeah. Just go. Go is a thing I can manage. Keeping an eye to the skies because we've fought griffins here before. to work eventually.
where this ox, ox cart is headed. The enemy today? Let us defer to the arisen judgment. I suppose it is so. Oh, I guess we need to be fully out of combat before we're allowed to sit. One of us has been drenched. A slime too? They got everything on this road. I'm attentive and loyal. And I don't care. You're some. not coming with me. Put clothes on. This ox cart's bound for Vernworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. If we have yeah, a destination no in thanks. mind, an ox cart would get us there with little effort. Vernworth is a little out of the way from where I want to be going. It would take us just as long to get to our destination from there as it would from here. At least I think. It's preferable to walking everywhere, that's for certain. Feels like there should maybe be a cave right there. There is. Now, depending on where that cave takes us, like, it's not Trevo Mine, is it? No. Might spit us out here. That wouldn't be particularly helpful to us, so let's ignore it. This ox cart's gonna run headfirst into the other ox cart. And apparently they made it past these goblins and this harpy. Ha! Harry does jump. And there goes the harpy. This isn't where we want to cross. here means there's a non-zero chance of griffins So here is where we turn. And then we can take either the first or the second bridge. I vote second. No compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Let's That's just right. on fighting these harpies. Sounds like he's got himself handled. Oh, 
Oh, what an idiot. It flew right into that blizzard. Who's too slow for what? Got another campsite here. I'm not gonna use it though. One shot the tail. Asps look remarkably like Gila monsters. And somehow I doubt that's accidental I considering. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. Nope, don't care right May now. I show you to its location. Yeah, I, I doubt it's accidental that they look like Gila monsters, considering Gila monsters are venomous lizards. I'm glad we have a pawn who speaks elf. I'll gather this. It might be of use. I guess that means we're in elven lands now. Looks like this is part of the path. But not the part of the path that I want to be taking. We want to follow this road. Um. Hey, a Cyclops! Is that the Cyclops that was the one that got away? face. He said it would send him gazing skyward. He fell the opposite direction. The Cyclops was made entirely out of meat. Might you consider lightening your pack? I bust it out of here? If you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. This is our first time setting foot in this place, but I trust we'll muddle through. Keep stout of heart and clear of mind. So there was a staff in the fancy chest. And this being called Rain Shelter Cave, I would have expected to see a uh, campsite. But alas. This also looks like a spot where they might have intended to put a campsite at some point. Oh, hello. 
Well, if this place don't look fancy. But, looks like we are not here to explore the fancy looking place. But rather, to cross this log bridge. And hey look, there's a campsite. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. Were it darker, yeah, I would camp here. Should we have needed one? Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Looks like a trove beetle. That looks like a chest. Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. What's been yelling at us? An ogre, mayhap? That or the world's beefiest chopper. character was just standing on it rather than clinging to it. Unless lost his balance. Why can't I cling to this ogre? The one in the one trial cave was so easy to hang on its face. something to recover my stamina. I don't know what happened there. from the bridge, please. I don't want that broken. There we go. Dead over.
Why are all the monsters made of steak today? While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. I don't Perhaps care. Perhaps I could show you the way. What's this thingy? Fancy elf torch, I guess. Okay, so if there is going to be a cave to get through, I would guess it would be around here. This is no cave. I hope I haven't been coming this way, hoping for a cave that doesn't Such exist. A magnificent tapestry of stars. Right you are. Oh hey, one of these. Where it does yon lead? Ow! I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. There's a campsite. I'll save you. Glad to see you have the magic in hand. Bye. Paths to victory are myriad indeed. That strategy never would have occurred to me. So there's a path in that direction that leads somewhere, one assumes. Maybe the cave would be over here or something. Either way, it seems we've got to go off the beaten path to find it. But the reason I think there's got to be a cave is the ancestral chamber there was a cave with a one-way door, and we were on the wrong side of it. has been drenched. Well, let's go back to a campsite so we can get some light so we can see any caves there may be. But apparently we've got wolves to deal with first. Your magical aid has dissipated. Pray, cast it anew. Tasty real meat. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. So that's two days down. But now we can see at least.
Seeker's token. These really are hidden in the most unlikely places, aren't they? A splendid discovery. Ha! Huh? I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. to any caves by going this way. There is another campsite and another rift stone. Thank goodness that fall didn't punish me. Have you forgotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. That's a golem. Do I want to fight a golem? I kind of want to fight a golem. Let my magic grant you an elemental food. Quit stomping and let me stab your metal again. Now I'm gonna stab this one. This one's the hardest to reach under normal circumstances. And also, I think I might be safest here. That golem went down a lot easier than the last one. No dapple door. At least none that I noticed. A lot of magic metals and a ring. Let's get this campsite marked on the map. Er, nope. That campsite's already marked on the map. I'll take that. We might find a use for it. An astounding discovery. Most impressive. Such a thing escapes my master's notice entirely. Here we go again. If that is not be avoided, it is fight and die. It is easily done. I will protect you. I hear something large. Bet the riftstone of the summit is for especially tall pawns. I'm not gonna go in there to figure it out. I need to lighten my load. Why are our pawns so spread out? There we go. We'll never get any work right to us. We do is rest. That's why that we're not resting. Good 
grown tired from our labours. Okay, so the rift stone's down there. Eh? No I visible caves. They have their uses. I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. Ah. Which means this is likely another exit from that same cave, potentially. Just a different branch. So we gotta find where that cave has an entrance we can access. Like perhaps right here. I can scarcely see a thing in this This mark. isn't a cave. Wait, no, this is the ancestral chamber. All right. We have discovered it. I grant you roaring flame. It's kind of funny. I haven't been to a town since I was fighter vocation level one. Master. And I'm what, level five now? We shall have to find a way to reach it. Is there still combat happening? Well, there was indeed still combat happening. Hey look, I found a way to reach it. Yeah, decent sum of gold. So our mission right now is not to get all the way through this cave, but rather to reach this. Because that'll let us get out and closer to where we want to be. Which is either here or here. I think it's here, though, because, yeah, this is on the way to where the ox cart was. So yeah, it was definitely here that our griffin was shot down and where we started actual play out of the tutorial land. Is there a splody barrel here? What is there to explode? Also, why can't I light the fancy elf torches? Is it because I'm not a fancy elf? Let my magic infuse your weapon with the fury of the elements. my protection. More venom hoses. But the 
been and Harpy's dropped nothing and that makes me sad. Seventy rift crystals. Not often we find rift crystals in a chest. Is there any way to climb up there? I'm not sure what we'll find, but it might be something useful. Master, I believe I could be of aid here. Might I be of assistance? Go for it. How do you believe you can be of aid? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down our guard. A ring of recipients? Boosts magic, you say? Bet it's stronger than the one she's already got. Oh no, she's got that exact ring. Never mind. So I took a shortcut. Looks like going this way might take us where we want. I grant you lightning's fangs. Nicely timed Levin. Made it seem like I unleashed the strongest lightning blessed sword strike ever. Why do these Venom Harpies keep well, not dropping master. anything? At some point, I'm going to have to take the time to more thoroughly explore this cave. Okay, I kind of wish the fancy elf torches didn't glow the exact same color as trove beetles. Ooh, fancy chest. Eminent coat is mage equipment specifically. Not even sorcerer equipment. Specifically mage equipment. And it's got better defenses than my plate armor, which is something. So we found our way to this ladder. That's something. And yet, it's not what we're after. Because we were looking for that. And yet... How would we get there unless there's another path around here that snakes out? There's only the one 
floor to this place, so it's not that there's a basement the I missed. may be to rush headlong into danger. Let us take care to move as one. What? Oh, it was but a trick of the light. Ooh, fancy chest. Well, those improve her physical defense, but not her magic defense yet. And they also expose a little skin, but the robe hides most of it at least. And you know what they say about upgrades. It's that they is upgrades. There must be a secret. Found it. And that was like the little alcove that the choppers had dug out. One arisen. Let's I'm just trying to, keep to get up, places. Though we are less fleet of foot. I'm spending the stamina that I have because I have it. Aha. How are we to get through this door? It's barred on this side, too? That means there has to be a third entrance somewhere. Because it's barred on this side. And it's barred on this side. We can't get in through either side. That means it was a fool's errand to even come this way. Where would a third entrance even be? It would have to, like, come across up here. So from over here, maybe? I don't know that I feel like looking for that when I'm on a timer. I guess the thing to do now is... I should have taken the ox cart back to Burnworth. All right, well, time to get out of here. Oh, they found another venom herpy. One of us has been poisoned. Not this way. I'm coming to your aid. Go where your help is needed. Unless there's some other path in this cave that I've missed. Maybe the splody barrel here was actually there for a reason. I should check it out. Pen in harpies! Take care that they Oh Items you drop actually go on the floor. Don't poison you! Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Where are the venom harpies? They died. But if they dropped loot, I want them. Or it. You're 
There we go. Picking things up, aren't you? Not what I was hoping for, but whatever. was worth a shot our party is well balanced i can see no weaknesses that might be exploited no challenges beyond our combined might i suppose it is so would that i had a fairy stone Hasten my steps back to Vernworth. So I guess what we do is we can go this way and maybe we can cut straight across to the campsite. That would be ideal. Yeah, it looks like it'll be no problem to do that. Well, maybe a slight problem. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? Not at the moment, Kopi. Okay, looks like we can maybe get down from here. Eh, would have been better if I landed on my shield, but we got down. That's what matters. And then from here, we want to cross the bridge, then cross the bridge. And then we're basically home free. There are worse places to make camp. The sun has yet to set. We could rest here now or press on a while longer. We're pressing on a while longer. One thing is absolutely certain about this game. They accomplished their goal of adding tension to travel. Like, it's got its peaceful moments. Poison is a nasty but then, it's got its moments that are less peaceful. The environment is fairly varied and beautiful to look at. So yeah, they've got a nice 
slow There's a ladder to here. travel. Oh, oh, this is a bandit fun. camp. We ought to heal ourselves while we've the chance. We fight. To arms. Very well, if I must. This door is locked. If I was an archer, I could remove the bolt from the door. I say it, we trounced our foe well and true. No doubt this trial will spur us into the next. Fancy chest. Silver so rapier is something that I could have given. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. I'm trying to move, not trying to high five everyone in sight. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Yeah, if, if we had an archer. Oh, you mean that. I mean, if we had a fighter who could launch people, that could work, but we don't. So, we might have to get clever. Time to ignore it then, because we are still on a timer. Silver Rapier. Okay, so it is not an upgrade. Except in terms of aesthetic, perhaps. Matches the rest of my gear better. And we want to take a left turn and then we're going to be crossing right over the main path that we want to actually take back to Vernworth. this building. It's got a chest in it. Not a useful one. Hang on, did I see? I did see. Huh. Me thinks we can move this boulder if we work together. <gasps> excerpt from a traveler's old daybook. I doubt anyone will believe me, yet I am compelled to write this account of what I saw. A gigantus walked the earth. How else to describe it? Its every step shook the ground. Its distant crown parted the clouds. I know not whence it came, only that some terrible power must have stirred it to life, be it of god or dragon or aught beyond imagining. Okay, so there's 
a gigantus that causes earthquakes as it walks. The day grows darker with our every step. And its we shall have to rely crown on other splits the, the clouds. That, that is an awful lot bigger than anything I know from a Dragon's Dogma game. Guys aren't considered I in shan't combat allow with us. Any further harm to come to you. And we'll just go. We're almost to known territory. Here, an enchantment of cold freeze our foes. Guy just keep scooting back. Pinning these creatures is the surest means to ward against their foul spirit. You truly are formidable, Arisen. Goblins are accosting somebody. Goblins, master! Thank you, sir. I've been meaning to thank you. Here. You just said thank you. Fond of picking things up, aren't you? And there's our destination. What's a Saurian doing so close to structures? Looks like we gotta get up over here. Then we can spend another day resting overnight in Burnworth. Can, can you stop peppering me with stuff while I'm on the floor? Uh, Seth, I think I still have four days at this point. I think this is night three. Two words for that performance. Utter perfection. Should still be enough time. Even if this is night four, it should still be enough time. Because we can take an ox cart to get closer to where we want to be, and then shouldn't take more than a day of searching. It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Actually, how's everyone's health? We're all doing fairly fine in terms of loss gauge. 
So maybe instead of resting at my home, I should just wait for the, uh, This ladder looks sturdy. Have you business Wait with the, the ox cart instead of be glad to assist you. sleeping for the night. Riotous Fury is nice and all, but I think I want Gouging Skewer. Though actually, we've got... Oh, you can put the same skill on multiple slots, huh? We've got another pawn with Shield Drum, so we're... It's equivalent. And here's what I've been wanting. buy that, but I'm not going to equip it. Okay, so Thundermine, when upgraded, still just puts it in one spot. Okay, Sizem is still a thing. So Prescient Flare seems potentially very useful in a full party situation. And considering she doesn't cast any enchantments as a sorcerer. And there we go. Have you found any of the... we discussed perchance always a pleasure this really is fine come take a look you'll be oh I probably should have handed this over to Garnet huh Oh, dang, these are worth a lot. I'm almost glad I got one. Or got an extra.
Glad you did. Okay, so the silver rapier is just never going to match steeled virtue. So plucked heart. Oh, well, it doesn't show it or show the weapon's own stats, does it? Does it show the weapon's own stats or are there stats on the equipper? Always a pleasure. Time to find out. Come take a look. So that goes to 455. That. It may have an eternal fire enchantment, but in terms of potency, it's not going to match the plucked heart. So Eminent Coat is way better than the Magician's Coat. So I guess we might as well upgrade it. Even though she can't equip it right now. And won't be able to for some time. I should have stolen these from Garnet. Could have had better pants this entire time. You'll be glad you did. And he's not selling anything Always new. Always a pleasure. But what I can Welcome do... To quality is what you need if you want to survive. Give me a helmet that is better than what I've got. Looks like Iron Helm is my choice here. Oh, we can get better than plate armor. So, Guardian plate armor isn't that much more expensive. But it's a good deal more defensive. It's also a good deal heavier. But I'll buy it. And I'll also buy an Iron Helm. Five. So if all you check the prime. Not gonna use my Dappledore for this. Let's just remember. And let's see. Can I get better pants? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Of course they're heavier too, but sometimes that's just what you gotta de deal with. Misers don't. Again, not going to spend my Dappledore. My early deaths. Hope to see you again. Welcome to. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So, I've got some equipment that can be sold.
Not that much, though. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. And now to go put some stuff away. Wonder if there's any easy work to be had. Right, I'm now traveling much lighter. Hmm. So Garnet would be able to gain one more point of magic defense if I change her out of her regal cloak. But nah. Inventory managed. I could still ditch more stuff, but thanks to Thu, I am in light right now. Now to go wait for an ox cart. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. There you go. And before I doze off, I'm going to go use the restroom. So I'll be right back. Thank you. 
I'm back and pleased to see that the ox cart has made it so far in my absence. Though, thinking on it, ox carts are very slow. And this particular ox cart, every time, well, almost every time we've ridden it, has been ambushed by goblins at night right here. I think we can get there before nighttime. If we just don't take the ox cart. So you know what? I forfeit my fare. And sure, this means that my knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten riftstone lies near here. Shall I lead the way? Eh, not right now. Yeah, this means that we're gonna have to do more actual controlling of our character and more going to places we've already been. You can count on me to fly to your I was area. not I trying to talk to you. Knowing when to use curate. Yeah, going through more places we've already been. But, time is of the essence and the ox cart takes a lot of it. We've got goblins. These are Saurians. Something I would appreciate from this game is if it was kind enough to tell us when an item in our inventory changed state from aging. Like, if there would just be a little UI callout whenever something aged to, like, apple to ripened apple, for example. Because I've let so many things rot. just because I don't check my inventory often enough. So, do I want to just stick on the main road? It looks like it, because while this takes us close to where the main road is, in a bit of a straighter path, I don't know that these actually connect. So, main road it is. Come on! Hey, another vocation rank. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. No sense letting the enemy get the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm. Let's make so. goblin and harpy I see. <laughs> oh, 
Nor do I need to stop for every Saurian, but they're a little swifter at scurrying than goblins and their ilk. Killing that one because it's a little close to the bridge supports for comfort. When tarred, be sure to avoid open flame. Are we leaving already? Oh, I was just getting warmed up. Yeah, whatever. Do you really need my aid? You must try to free yourself! Let go of me! I'm honestly surprised I'm not too heavy for a harpy to pick up. To lift. Hey, here's an ox cart on the way back. Keep your eyes peeled as we cross. They seem safe enough, at least. Okay, so we've made it to Goblin Ambush Land, where our ox cart has always been ambushed by goblins. And sure enough, there's goblins here. But, importantly, we've made it before sunset. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. I like how Kira's the one who says that gathering materials makes for dull work. When she's the one who has them marked on our map for us. It. That one's kind of on you. Minotaur. I suppose I can slow down for one of those. I haven't fought one as a fighter before. Stay with me, Arisen. Wait right there. Now, 
I had my shield up, but apparently Mr. Minotaur did Seems not done. care. No objection. I would be glad of your assistance. Oh, worthy of fortune. Lord save our best will do. Well, shield helped there. other horn and down it goes it is done thank you arisen i am overjoyed to have completed the task of master Sefton. Splendid. These are just regular harpies. I don't have to care. There you go, got him to teleport closer. All right, we're getting there. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. may just be a pawn, but when I see people embattled with enemies, I feel more inclined to help. had a goblin friend. Excuse me. I waited for the first ox cart of the day. Oh, this must be yesterday's ox cart. Never mind. As you were. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but did you not come to this place, Master? Our journey with you might never have begun. Come to think of it, it was rather fortuitous. Almost as if fate conspired to bring us together. I think this is the path that takes us to where we started the game, and that means that on the path between there and the encampment is where we should find our uh, 
Seeker's Tokens bot. There were more Saurians over there, but I don't think we care about them right now. I believe I found my first Seeker's Token like on a cliff or something. We have found a material. Okay, this isn't it. Tread carefully. There is no telling what might lurk within. I only hope we do not stumble into any traps. Okay, then where? Like, I do want to explore the cave, but... Where was the Griffin I Road felled? It's not by the mountain secret. It's not past the northern vermin checkpoint. I doubt it's closer to Melv. I recall there being a river near it, so that narrows things down. It wouldn't have been so close to the encampment as right here, would it? Maybe it would. But then, where would the Seeker's token be? Hey there, Outlander. Hey, uh, do you remember where I found my first Seeker's token? Because I don't. And it's a problem. Yeah, best I got to go on is it was probably not too far from where my uh, griffin crashed at the beginning of the game. I think I found it before I reached the encampment for the first time, but I could be wrong on that count. Metal golems are gone. Excellent. Means we don't have to have an archer at all times, just in case. If only went so far away. Yeah, this doesn't lead to the Griffin Crash site. Yeah, that ain't it. So where is the Griffin Crash site? Uh, Outlander, I have already got through. 
But that is what I dipped into Fighter for initially, yes. I am taking a quick look at my first stream. Okay, so the Griffin Crash Site is at Ultramarine Waterfall, so it is there. I'll gather this. It might I guess be the Griffin has just been removed by now. Maybe it was blocking the cave. Materials, eh? Keep I us from going in at the they very beginning. Uses. What am I supposed to do? Well, Ned. He's an easy keeper. And with that being where the griffin landed then somewhere that I have explored on this path is probably where my first seeker's token was it wouldn't surprise me to learn that it was like on this very riverbed Now we're getting off my beaten path, I think. And it's getting a little darker, which is not helpful. It's also possible it's not between the encampment and the Griffin crash site. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. Though if it isn't, that I would be see you put what I find problematic for me. Oop. And yeah, the griffin had crashed right here. So it was, in fact, blocking the cave, preventing us from getting in too early. And with night falling, that means we're either in our last day or the day before the last. For our deadline here. starting to think that our first Seeker's token was not on the way to the encampment, but more likely on the way to uh, Melv. And unfortunately, in that case, relying on places that are on our map is not going to be the most helpful. 
But we know that we took this path and then that way. But we also diverted ourselves down to here where there might be a Seeker's token. Or might have been, rather. Yeah, it could be basically anywhere in here. Which isn't a small zone to check. Also, Sphinx, I gotta say, where did you find your first Seeker's token is a terrible riddle. treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I lead the way? No, I'm not interested in treasure chests right now. Unless there's one where I found my first Seeker's token. Okay, one hour, 20 minutes into my first stream in a harpy nest is my first Seeker's token. Let's see where that harpy nest lives. So there's a campsite nearby. That campsite is this campsite, which means the Seeker's token judging by the map, lives around here. All right, we've got our destination. Thank you for finding that for me. up there. This so we gotta find our way up again. Could be a fine spot to rest. Should we have need of one? <laughs> wow, didn't expect to find one of these so close to the starting area. Find magic, imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Garnet continues to just one shot them. Okay, so the harpy nest would be up here, I believe. The sky is radiant this night. I feel at peace to gaze upon it. It is no great shock to me.
would it? Hang on. Oh, I was looking at an earlier point in the stream where I was fighting harpies around this vicinity. Okay, now I see the exact spot. The exact spot is about here. Let's not go jumping down cliffs. Okay, yeah, it's up on this rock. Right there. The finder's token. We got it. Our foe well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us. So yeah, uh, if anyone's gonna be playing Dragon's Dogma 2, first time you find a Seeker's token, take a screenshot of where you are, both in game and in map. Here, an enchantment of cold. You can save yourself a lot of heartache. I'm glad there was a record of mine. But yeah, Outlander, when you talk to the Sphinx, one of her riddles is, go to where you first found a Seeker's token, and there'll be something there. You have one week. So, uh, when you do it, do it quick-like. Let us see what you made of. These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. So, I wonder what Melva's like at this point in time, because should be empty of people. And yet it's not. Thought everyone moved out. Is it home to just pawns? Surely not. There's a ladder here. After you arisen. Looks like the item shop is no longer an item shop. Is the inn still an inn? Tisn't. Alright, so everyone who matters is in fact gone. That's a little unfortunate. I was at least kind of hoping that I could uh, drop some cash on a fairy stone here. But I guess what I can do, now that I've got my item, is wait till morning when the ox cart departs and ride it back. Would that ox carts were a bit safer and a bit swifter too. Well, we... wait. You need to get back 
within the seven days, not just get the thing within the seven days? I thought I was okay just as soon as I found a finder's token. Because if I need to get back in time, uh, that means I need to get to Vernworth before the seven days is up, buy a fairy stone, and then port back. Thankfully, I had the foresight to put a uh, port crystal there. Okay, I need to get back in time. That means I wasted some time waiting for this ox cart. We cannot take it back. Hopefully there's still time. Come on. I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. Well then how about you don't battle those with whom we have no quarrel instead of talking about how you don't want to. Just go. We're just going. We don't have time for this. I don't know how many days it's been at this point. It's definitely been at least five. It might have been six. We might be on day seven right now. And if we are, then it's going to basically be all about can I get to Vernworth in time to buy a fairy stone and leave. Wait, I might be able to buy a fairy stone at the encampment. Please let them sell fairy stones at the encampment. Fairy stone? I no fairy stone. Good. Always a pleasure. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch in my case. Alright, so traveling merchants might sell fairy stone. So if I see a merchant on the road, I'll talk to them. I thought I'd say this, but we've become inseparable. Our combined might is a force to be reckoned with. I say we forge on together for as long as we may. Yeah, it is nice for that little camp area. To give us infinite stamina as we pass through. They got this covered. cavern of the forsaken could get us quickly across to here excuse me i left before the ox cart are you telling me that this ox cart made it only this far in an entire day Yes, Outlander, this is a really long trek. Made better only by the fact that I had the foresight to put my port crystal right by the Sphinx. If I had a fairy stone, which I should have bought while I was in Vernworth, 
then we'd even be done already. Man, the merchant in Melv might have had a fairy stone. Probably not. I don't recall seeing a fairy stone on them. I only recall seeing expensive rings. There wasn't a merchant among you. There was. Merchant, fairy stone. Does every ilk include a fairy stone? It doesn't. Hope to see you again, Long. Sorry, Angus, but you're worthless to me. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. We don't need an elemental boon. We're running. Outlander, the problem with opening my wallet and purchasing a fairy stone for $1.99 is it goes to your storage. And I would need a fairy stone to get to that. Because the inn in Melv isn't an inn right now. <laughs> Hey, I got experience for that goblin being killed next to me. Any merchants among you? Doesn't look like it. You guys can handle that on your own what you're paid for. I think the real strat is just don't pick up any Seeker's tokens I I found a treasure chest until you're like the rift. in the same area as the Sphinx. The then pick it up. Like, yeah, the one that's in the castle ruins where the Cyclops was. Grab that as your first Seeker's token. Then go talk to the Sphinx. Then go immediately back. That is the true strat. And at this point, Vernworth is within sight. We're gonna make it no problem. It's still plenty light out. Monsters are to be found in the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. Wolves draw near. All right, and we just go this way, and we're good. No harm shall come to you. Thankfully, that Minotaur we killed uh, completed one of our pawn quests and got us 10,000 gold, so that's a fairy stone right there. We got it on the walk over. But hey, we've made it back to Vernworth. 
And as much as I would love to just immediately uh, take a nap and fill our loss gauge. Dude only sells one. Here, eh? Stop by again soon. Why does he only sell one? I wanted to buy two so that I could come back easily. I'm gonna put this uh, noon bloom in my storage so that we've got a stored noon bloom, just in case anything ever asks for one, because they're not the easiest to come by. Hello house, hello bed. I wish I could rest in you, but I don't have time. Right, gotta go outside so the fairy stone works. You the arisen. I've been looking for you. I don't have time to deal with you, sir. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit. We've made it then. What's our first order of business, Arisen? Our first order of business is talking to this Sphinx before it's too late. Come to test your wits. Seeker's tokens are treasures indeed. Keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. Ah, I see I needn't have worried. We made it in time. Unless she's going to say I was too late. Well sought. Okay, good. And well found. I trust it was a pleasant job. As it was quite stressful, actually. Prize. Look for it in yon chest. It was a very stressful jaunt. Mayhap towards somewhat overdone, but no matter. Ooh! I am very pleased with the reward. So, uh... The riddle of... Whatever it was... The parent knows the child, but the child knows not the parent. I'm thinking that we're thinking trees and seeds here, so maybe a fruit. An apple, Come perhaps. To test your wits. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent. Such is the parent's due. I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent. Oh, but bring the parent. Um, I don't think I can bring a whole tree. So, never mind. <laughs> that will have to wait. Uh, I was thinking... The other way around, bring the parent to the child, but no, it's it, it's no. So Bring the parent to the child. The parent knows the child, but the child doesn't know the parent. 
It's not wake stones, or I would have had an option to give it to her, right? So, it's something that comes from something else. Yeah, I... And we have to bring the parent. Because, like, fish versus roe, that would make sense. But I don't believe that that's the answer she's looking for. Not an item. Okay. Well then. Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. What does what say? There, is there something written somewhere? Ah, there is. We already have seen this inscription before. You know what? I'm going to try to be cheeky here for a different task. The one about the, the madness one, your greatest love. Since I do have someone who's maxed affinity with me, but I haven't done anything with it. So maybe. Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to madness, they say. So bring forth your most beloved to me. That I might... Is this your most beloved you bring before me? Interesting, we got a different camera angle than usual, but sure. Well, well. Very good. Not half bad. Yet only one you bring. I thought you capable of more. A promise made. A promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. Well, my cheeky answer worked. Truly? Ooh. I like that. Really wish I had answered Port Crystal for the most precious thing, though. Then I'd have three by now. Maybe for three US dollars, I could pretend that I gave her a Port Crystal. Honestly, that's the only thing in the cash shop that has me at all interested.
Well, uh, how do I get down from here? Probably the same way I got down the first time, huh? Ooh, but now that we're free from our time constraint... We can go exploring more. Water Make... is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times is an overconfident step. Yeah, so yeah, we've parts. heard that before. I dare say that's part and parcel of the adventurous trade. Yeah, we can make sure that we've fully explored more places that we have been. Oh! A golem comes. This golem respawned already. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Well done. I will say, golems are actually fairly easier to deal with than they used to be. There's fewer metals. And yeah, the golems hit harder, but they're also way easier to stun. Okay, apparently that explosion is bigger than it used to be. got the only talismans we've got. Maybe I should have dealt with the arm before the head, because the arm actually moves around. Get that hand. There we go. Golem down. A formidable foe. Considering the might of our Yay, more Dappledore. experience, what other outcome could there have been? So yeah, this cavern has at least two branches we haven't taken. They might link to each other, but I don't know for certain. Ah, I see these are back. 
Thank you, Garnet, for being able to one-shot them at such short notice, no less. These look like Skelemen to be. Because they are. are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. This goes down, does it? Wow, that's a lot of ore. It is an item of exceptional rarity. I cannot wait to tell my own master of its existence. is a precious thing we found how exciting my heart is fit to burst so yeah i know where white cobble lives now to keep watch lest we be set upon from behind remain alert and naught shall catch us by surprise i don't like that our map suggests that we haven't touched this wall Darn it, you're up. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Good job, Garnet. Skeleton? No, just bones. There's another phantasm in here. I cannot claim to be fond of spiders, but ones of this size are unlikely to cause any the same flow again. Guess not. First time we've actually opened a chest in this cave without being beset upon by a phantom. And down here in this hole is absolutely nothing. Okay. What did you do to provoke it? Nothing! I just came in here. These bats are hostile immediately, always. And these guys are back. I love the tough Some toss and pale combo. Methinks we could all use a rest, Master. Yeah. Yeah, we could at this point. We really could. In fact, we could use a rest that we then use to end this stream because it's time. My cats are starving, clearly. 
one of them is on the keyboard right now. Let's see what exquisite dried we meat looks like. Is that any different from the regular dried meat? All right, well, time to rest till morning. And then call it a stream. So that's gonna be it for this stream. Thanks folks for dropping by to watch and chat and all that. I will be back tomorrow for more Dragon's Dogma-ing and less frantic searching for a thing that I found on my first stream. See you then, friends.